In the histotap, you can quantify intensities in the regions of interest on your image. You need to activate the checkboxes to see the to see the image, to see the statistics, and the table with the raw data. And you can also check in this box if you would like to see the histogram. Again, this histogram is a blown up representation of this histogram. Here I have the absolute frequency of pixels with different intensities. And I see three different plots here because I have three different channels on the image. Since nothing is selected on the image, the software automatically quantifies the whole frame. Now I can see mean intensity for the channel S1 uh, with its standard deviation, number of pixels, and the area. And the same information for channel 2 and transmitted light, TPMT channel. If I don't want any channel to be included into quantification, for example, TPMT does make sense to quantify for intensities, I can deselect it and it disappears from the image, from the table, and from the histogram, and also from the raw intensity data. Quite rarely you would like to actually quantify the whole image. Let's say I would like to know what is the intensity of the yellow fluorescent protein in the nuclei in the cells. And for this I need to select the nuclei. I will deselect the chlorophyll channel and I can enlarge the portion of the workspace devoted to the image and I, if needed I can also zoom into the image additionally to see my structure better. Currently, the software estimates in mean intensity for the whole image, and I have 45,000 square micrometers worth of measurement. And when I select a small rectangle, the area is immediately changed to the area covered by my region of interest, which is within this rectangle now. It's only 204 square micrometers. And this is the mean intensity within the square. And this is the standard deviation. One of the reasons why the standard deviation is so high is that rectangle actually is not the best selection of the tool to select the round nucleus. All these black pixels included, which don't belong to nucleus at all. To fit the selection best, I can erase the rectangle and select this closed bezier. And then I can very accurately draw around the nucleus. And now I have only 100 square micrometers area and the standard deviation went way down. And here I can see the plot of the absolute frequency for pixels of each of intensity. This step changes the precision of your histogram and increases averaging and it will change also the mean intensity here. What the software does, it bins together frequencies for pixels of these intensities. You can also ask to rescale the y-axis for absolute frequency. You can set it to fixed value and select here whatever you want, or you can ask to fit it to the maximum intensity present on your image. And again, intensities are here distributed between the values of 0 and 255, because I have 8-bit image. Please note, if you didn't save the data for your selection, it will be automatically erased when you click on Delete button here. And then you will need to select it all over again. To be able to, to save this data, you need to right-click on the table and click on copy table and then you can paste it into Excel sheet. If you activate right now the other channel, for example, the, the red channel, the intensities for the red channel will be estimated for exactly the same selected region, which doesn't make any sense because I don't have any signal there. This manual selection can be quite laborious. You can help to speed it up a bit by using a threshold function right here. You need to activate it by clicking on checkbox and you will get this menu available where you can select which channel you want to threshold and then what threshold you want to set. I will try to threshold out the signal which doesn't belong to the nuclei as 
best as I can. You can set a lower threshold limit and an upper threshold limit. All pixels with uh, intensities below your lower threshold limit will not be included into quantification. And the same will happen with the pixels with intensities above your upper threshold limit. So I need to make sure that I'm thresholding the same channel as I'm looking at. And then I just pull up the lower threshold limit. And you can see that the pixels which were here before are removed from the image. All the pixels with the intensities below 52 now will not be included into the quantification. So only the pixels from 52 to 256 will be included. If, for example, you have some oversaturated pixels, you can also remove them from quantification by moving the upper threshold limit. But it's not the case for this image, so I will let it be. You immediately can see that the area for quantification became much smaller because quantification now happens only in these areas, which are still visible as yellow. Now it should be much easier to select the nuclei. I can do it even with a rectangle tool. And I can move it around with the select tool and resize it a bit if I need. I am not bothered now by including the area which doesn't belong to the nucleus since uh, all the pixels in it will be thresholded out by my lower threshold limit and will not be included into quantification. And now I get mean intensities only for the pixels which are coded here in yellow within this selection region. You can also create a mask for your selection if you would like to present it as an image for publication later on.